So Mike McGlinchey having a decent camp, much better than last year, spoke to the press today and uh, said he weighs between 315 and 320 pounds. He said last year he was below 290 at times. Um, what do you think of him putting on damn near 30 pounds in the way he looks so far? That's great. First of all, he talked about a New Jersey pork roll. <laughs> Shout out to New Jersey. And that's that's great. That's what helped him. He said he had to like you know you know stay away from that because it, it was you know putting pushing it too forward. But I think the important comments that he made in the press conference about the the mental aspect of what he did last year and and you know the the still here comment and the and all these other you know things. I think that he acknowledged that that wasn't the way to go about it. Uh, he yeah. seems to be in a good mindset and 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 I, I he's done everything right. He has done everything right. Everything that anybody yeah. could ask. There's no bullets flying right now. Obviously, we don't know how it's going to translate into the season. True. But right now, he's doing everything right, saying all the right things, put on the right weight, looks fine in practice, have no issue with it. Um, Mike McGlinchey, right now, no complaints with you right now, bro. I, I I enjoy everything that you're doing right now, and you're doing things the way that you should be at this point. And I'm pulling for him. There's something I, I like him. There was something about him last year that I think the reason I was so hard on him was he was annoying me the way he talked. Like he was so defensive and kind of. But he admitted like, that. Yeah, he like he was that. talking like he was a thirty-five. Like he was Joe yes. Staley. Okay, Joe yes. Staley's gone, and now I'm Joe Staley. And I was like, no. The C, the C kind of got to his head it. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but and I didn't was, like it. Yeah. yeah, I just I felt like, man, you're not playing well enough to talk about other people's problems. Just talk about yourself, and that's why I think I was too hard on him. Um, so I, I actually still regret a lot of that. And he's even talked about it. it was such a hard year. I made it harder for him. Mental health is a real thing. So he came in today, and I was a little ashamed. You know, I was like, man, I gotta face this guy. So. I asked him about five questions just to see where we stood. And God love him, man. He was so under. I mean, he looked me in the eye, gave me good answers. He could have said, I'm not talking to him. I'm not answering his questions. He didn't do that. He's much more grown up and professional than me. I appreciate you, Mike. I do. Thank you very he's, much. And I still owe you an guy. apology. I'll come see you at your locker when I'm allowed in there. But today, I mean, he had the opportunity to punch me in the face. And to his credit, he didn't. So I just want to say thanks, Mike. Yeah, uh, thanks for not ruining your career by hitting a beat writer. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how much credit I get. Yeah, I don't know how much credit I give him for that. But no, I, I will say this: it's it's uh it's good to hear him say that he knows that uh that he didn't handle things correctly last year, and that's a maturity thing. Mike McClinch is a smart guy. When you go to Notre Dame, they don't they don't prioritize athletics over your grades. You have to actually really be good at school and get grades. Uh, in Notre Dame, like you can't just walk in there and be one of those guys. Like, like you know, you can go to Alabama probably and have someone stand in for you real quick and some and some. You probably. know, that's not how that's Allegedly. not how it works. In the yes, well, let's see. Uh, depending on the the program, yeah. the coach, but um, in Notre Dame, that's ne that's never been a thing. And uh, he's a smart guy, and I think he understands the the psychology of what he was saying. And and again, he's done everything right. He's he's saying all the right things. He's put on the weight. He looks fine at camp. Um, I'm excited for him, and uh, I'm excited that he understood where he made some mistakes last year um, outside of his play. I said, I said to him, I said, Mike, it sounds like last year was the toughest year of your life. Yeah. Um, how did did it make you better in any way? He was like, absolutely. Like I needed to realize that pressure is a privilege. Yeah, I was like, that's such an interesting concept. He's smart. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I get that, and I feel he has a much better mindset. Like. The good athletes are the ones who aren't affected by the Twitter GMs or trolls, as he puts it. Like, look at Jimmy mm -hmm. Ward. Every time someone someone slights him, he's like, huh, that guy just don't know. I, I'm going to have to show him. And I love that about him. It's like, oh, it's just another opportunity to prove someone wrong and convert someone. And that's Mike McGlinchey's attitude now. And that's the attitude you have to have to be a top-level professional athlete. And he's still young. He's still on his rookie deal, so he's learning. Good for you, Mike. Yes. We applaud you. Good stuff. Yep. Doing all the right things.